Hi, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering maze tips on how to draw wings. Okay, before we begin, I thought I should show you guys the three types of wings that we'll be covering today. So the first wing is actually a bat wing. The second one is a bird or angelic type wing. And the third is a butterfly or fairy type wing. Okay, as you have already noticed, I have already drawn out the drafts, but I will cover how to actually approach them. So first, I actually wanted to have reference because I think it's important because it really helps you depict the shape. As you notice, it's not necessarily the same because I, <laughs> I really wanted to make it a smaller type wing, not so broad or wide. So for the bat wing, I decided to make it a little bit smaller. For the bird wing, the approach I took was more, I would argue it's kind of eye shaped. For example, like you can make this into an eye if you tried. Well, not, you didn't even have to try too hard. You could basically make an eye out of that. But it's essentially a shape that we're taking. I would also argue it's kind of like a leaf. and has a good shape so it's wide here and then decreases as it approaches the longest feather away from the body and lastly is the butterfly this one's fairly simple I would say if you find that it's complicated to make the shape you could basically go get the shape off of the butterfly like this like now you have the general shape and then you move it and work with what you have okay and now I'm going to show you how to draw the bat wing first we're going to start off with the shape of the wing and then fill in the color And now for the shading, I actually chose the color black because it's already a dark blue. So in order to actually shade it, I chose a much darker color, which is black. For this I actually wanted to point out where the shading is actually headed. It's headed towards the little spike on top of the wing. So it's all connected to the bone, it's not just random shading, it actually has a certain direction. And that's very important especially with shading because you don't want it to look unorganized or unsure. Okay and now for the lighting. I chose a bluish purple color for the lighting that's because we're already sticking to a dark palette so it's also very complementary of the dark colors it looks very nice it looks very sleek and i feel it's befitting of this wing And that is how you draw a bat wing, or really any type of sharp or jagged wing. Overall, just with a sharper shape compared to the fairy or angelic type wing. If you're worried that you aren't sure how to draw like a dragon wing or anything along those lines, it really does follow with the bat wing because it does also have a sharp wing because you won't really see a dragon with bird type feathers or fairy type wings. So really, as long as you know how to draw the sharper shaped wings, you're pretty much good to go. Okay, and now for the bird wing. 
And similar to the other one, I also form the outline of the bird wing, and then I fill it in with the paint bucket. In this section, I start shading and then I start forming the lines of where the feathers, at least the noticeable feathers, will be. In this part, I start erasing in order to actually show the feathers. Since I first started off with the general shape, now I can actually put in the details and give that better outline of feathers. In this part, I start shading where the upper feathers are going to be. You're going to see them in just a second. They will be a darker color than the bottom wings. For this part, I want to explain what I did. So I basically did a copy of the shadow or the shading and then I put it into another layer where it's not clipped to the original shape of the feathers. So now it's its own layer and I'm going to transform it into another set of layer, I mean sorry, another set of feathers where it'll have its own shape and it won't be restricted to the bottom layer. And at this point, I'm just shading the bottom layer and adding more details to show that some feathers are above other ones and the little line marks of each individual feather, if that makes sense, such as the lines that you would see in a regular feather. That little curved line that goes above in the superior wings is actually the muscle that moves the feathers or rather the wing itself. I think it's important to know and to keep consistent in wings when you're drawing them because that is an important muscle that helps move the wings. So it's also more or less realistic. It's something you should look for, especially when you're drawing wings or just looking for reference. You will kind of see it right away. Here I'm adding highlights or rather the lighting. I would have picked a brighter color so you guys can actually see it in my screen. It was brighter. <laughs> but overall the color that I picked was like an orangey brownish color. That is a good color to highlight a brown. It's just that if you're picking one, I would suggest a brighter color so you can actually see it. And that is how I draw a bird wing. <laughs> I went more with a brown color. I know that the feathers fade more to white, but I wanted to keep more to a brown feather, at least so the upper wings could stand out a bit more. But I did add some orangey or paler brown highlights, a little less noticeable, but I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more. Much similar to the other process, I also started with the outline and then filled it in with a dark color. 
I didn't pick blue because I thought it would be easier to start with a darker blue, which would be black in this case, in order to then add on the blue and change the shape to how I see fit. And here is when I'm adding the light blue and like I said before, this is where I would be changing the shape to how it would best represent the butterfly wings. In this point forward, I'm shading and adding the darker blue veins on top of the lighter blue. And this process is literally just detail work and overall shading. In this part, I'll be adding the lighting and also the other details such as like the purple and the little dots that you see on the wings itself.
and that is how I draw the butterfly wing. <laughs> um, one of the things I want to note on for the blue layer, this right here, I had to control the yellow because I wanted to put the purple and the light light blue below. I wanted the blue streaks to be above every other detail for example. So like the gradient, they had to be below because I wanted the blue lines to pop out more. So I copied the gradient and then I control Z and then as soon as I got to the point where I wanted to be at, I put them back in. <laughs> so then I could just organize them better like this. And I think it did a more efficient job. And that has been all. I hope it has helped you understand how to draw three different types of wings and the type of variety and how I can help you apply it to your characters. <laughs> but once again, this is for Clip Studio's maze tips. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial or any other tutorials, feel free to let me know via comment or directly approaching me. But I hope this has helped. Thank you for watching. Bye.